All right, it's April 2nd, and we are on our way to our first gig of 2016. We're on our way to a high school prom. Uh, tonight, we're actually going to uh, Milton this evening, and uh, we're going to a historic venue. It's called the, uh, well, Meg calls it the Imogen Theater, but I've heard a lot of people call it the Imogen Theater. It's spelled I-M-O-G-E-N-E, -E, so you can pronounce it however you want to. But anyway, that's where we're going. We did a wedding there back in 2008, so I know that's a long time ago, but um, this particular venue, they had a fire a couple months after I did that wedding back in 2008, and I think I even posted something about that on my YouTube channel. And, but anyway, they did some renovations to it, so we're going back there again this, this time, and, and we're looking forward to it. Got a good friend that uh, helps run that place, too, so uh, unfortunately I won't be seeing him tonight. But um, yeah, we've, uh, we have went and toured it last year, and, um, and that's actually how, how we met our good friend uh, Richard Baldwin, so we're looking forward to, again to coming out here to the theater. And I do have a prom date with me today. Hello. Can you take a guess who that is? I'll give you three guesses. One, two, three, okay. <laughs> yeah, Meg's with me today. So anyway, we're gonna have some fun and um, really looking forward to, uh, to working with these kids. I mean, uh, the students were wonderful when I worked with them, you know, back five, six years ago, I guess it was, 2010. I realize there's, you know, they're a different group of students now, but, but I really enjoyed the students back then. I enjoyed the faculty and staff. And when they called me, you know, and said, hey, we'd like you to come back and do our prom again. You know, you have a client, you enjoy working with them. So that's what I'm looking forward to. And uh, like I said, we're gonna have a great time. So we're gonna go ahead and get there and get set up and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, we're here at the uh, beautiful Imogen Theater, or Imogen, whichever way you say it, here in downtown Milton. And uh, here's my setup this evening. Like I said, we've been here before. It's been many years. Here we are, set up on the stage. I'm doing a light test right now. I'm playing TV themes in the background, by the way. All right, here we are in the balcony. When I did that wedding here back in 2008. This is where we had the DJ table set up, was right up here. And everybody was down there dancing. So anyway, like I said, this historic theater here, pretty nice to check out. Okay, so it's now 4 o'clock on Tuesday afternoon. The uh, gig log that you saw took place this past Saturday night from the historic uh, Imogen or Imogen Theater, however you decide to say it, in uh, downtown Milton. And we'll talk about that in just a second. I want to do the final wrap here from the Oval Office. First of all, I'm wearing the hat that Meg got me for Christmas this past year. And uh, she always thinks I look real cute in hats. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and uh, just do the final wrap while I got my hat on. And, uh, well, I'll let you be the judge of whether you think I look cute or not, okay? So anyway, uh, let's talk about the gig log that you just saw. It was a high school prom, and I have done the, this high school's uh, prom before, but it was six years ago, and we did that in downtown Pensacola. It was a real fun event then, and it was a fun event now. And here's one of the things that was really neat about that. 
and it really shows how time flies. One of the teachers that was in charge this year was actually a student when I did the prom six years ago. She was a junior six years ago at that exact same school. She remembers being at the prom uh, when I DJed her prom, so that was pretty neat uh, being able to talk to her about that. Now, the uh, prom itself went great. I mean, the students really had a great time. They were really well behaved. I mean, I've done some high schools where, you know, the kids are just very obnoxious and, uh, you know, they're, they're coming up to you every five minutes, you know, demanding you play their song next. These, these students were really good and they were just really well behaved and very polite. And I mean, I really enjoyed working with them and I really enjoyed working with that staff too. And, you know, when you work with a client, that really, um, you know, makes things a lot easier. And, you know, last year they called me up and asked me if I would come back and do their prom again because they enjoyed it, you know, from six years ago. And uh, I was really glad to uh, come back. And, you know what, I'd be glad to go back and do another prom for them. But uh, anyway, a lot of things that we did while we were there is uh, we did stop every few minutes and do some uh, giveaways. They had some uh, gift baskets and that kind of thing. I didn't really record too much of that, you know, while we were giving those away. But we were stopping the music about every 30 minutes to uh, do that. And then, of course, they did the uh, prom king and queen, and then they announced the seniors. It's a really, really small school compared to a lot of other high schools. So they announced all the seniors with uh, their uh, prospective dates. So that was uh, pretty neat, and their escorts. So that was uh, that was awesome as well. So, you know, it's, it's really neat to, to actually do a prom for a, a smaller school like that. Now, the venue that you saw, the Imogen Theater or the Imogen Theater, however you, you prefer to say it, it's I-M-O-G-E-N-E -E in downtown Milton. And it's a very historic theater. It was built in uh, 1912, I believe, was when it opened. And they had a fire in it, at it back in 2009, I think January 2009, right, the building right beside it. And uh, the Imogen Theater did uh, suffer a little bit of damage, but it was just a little bit of smoke damage. So thank goodness it wasn't really you know destroyed or anything like that, so we were real happy about that. But they had done quite a bit of remodeling since the last time we were there when I did a wedding there back in 2008. So anyway, it's a really historic place. If you ever come to Northwest Florida, try to go down there and take a look at it. It's pretty neat and uh, you can definitely tell that it's uh, got a really neat decor in there. I'm sure you probably saw that from the uh, video and the pictures if you're all friends with me on Facebook. I posted some pictures there as well. So anyway, that's where we're going to leave this. Uh, we got more gig logs to come, so until next time, practice and enjoy.